guys, this is Brandon. Um, you know, sorry I haven't been posting the update videos like I've said I was going to do, but um, I'm back now. Like I've said in the YouTube bulletin, I was going to try and get this update video out before Thursday or Friday so I could promise you guys something on Saturday. So, the update that I'm going to be discussing here is that, um, you know, basically I just want to apologize once again for, you know, sorry for the lagging and activity, you know, we haven't been giving you guys anything at all, and, you know, that's you know, a big fail on my part, and I apologize greatly for that, you know, seeing that, you know, you guys are basically what keep us going on, you know, you guys have to keep us going on, because, you know, if you're doing something on YouTube and, you know, who's watching it, it's kind of pointless, so we made this channel, you know, so people won't, you know, kind of feel discouraged or whatever like that, so, you know, like I said, you guys kind of, uh, you guys kind of you know, help us out, you know, like I said, you guys keep us going on. Okay, anyways, um, like I said, you know, you guys basically, you know, you guys keep us going, you know. Some of you guys, you know, gave us fresh ideas, you know, such as our, you know, consultant, I guess you can call him, uh, Mark Brown. He's, you know, tossing out some ideas as well, which brings me to my next, um, which brings me to my next, uh, I guess you could say, topic for this update video. Is that you know another reason why we haven't been um we haven't been shooting as much videos is because we've been having a problem with uh, one of our members to help us that's helping us do the videos and you know hopefully we can get that sorted out we're not sure yet because even if we need to find a fourth you know we basically have nobody to take that place of the fourth so right now it's just us three so what we've been doing while it's just us three is that we are currently in the works of creating, you know, like a webisode series for you guys, and, um, you know, as a matter of fact, I have everything right here, let me go ahead and, uh, see what I've got posted here, we actually got together last Saturday, and we, uh, we pretty much will fail for me for writing it in yellow highlighter, but I remember most of it, but, uh, you know, we got together, um, this past Saturday, actually, no, my bad, um, two Saturdays ago, and, um, you know, we, um, we kind of brainstormed, you know, we figured, okay, you know, we don't have really a fourth person, so we can't really shoot anything, you know, what are we going to do, and me and, uh, Mark, we have been talking about doing this series for quite some time, you know, we actually did, I guess you could say an episode on one of the demos that are lost in a flash drive out there somewhere, but, um, you know, we're kind of, maxing that one out, seeing that as a trial and error run. And, you know, like I said, we got together Saturday. We kind of brainstormed about this, you know, what we're actually going to do. And we decided that, you know, okay, we're going to actually do an episode. And, you know, they're not really all that long. Um, that's what I felt like it wasn't. But, I mean, you know, this particular episode, <laughs> you'll probably get the feeling of, um, Cloverfield with a mix of um, APP Requiem, you know, so, uh, it's, um, you know it, it's taken from point of view, so one of us will have the camera while another one will have the camera, you know, we kind of trade it off, and, um, you know, the the focus doesn't on this camera doesn't really like to work, you know, we don't have one of those, uh, those movie star cameras, you know, like I said, this is all strictly homebrewed, so you'll see a lot of, you know, you see a lot of the pulp in it and everything like that, but, you know, we decided to shoot an episode this um you know two Saturdays ago and like I said you know you'll kind of feel like it's a a mix of you know Cloverfield with David B. Requiem and you know we all look back on it and we think it's a fail because um you know I try to make it look authentic as possible and you know the the plot for this episode was that you know we were coming from somewhere you know I guess you could say a ways from, you know, the location that we were supposed to be in. So I made it sound like, you know, with my heavy breathing, you know, like we've, we've been all over the place. And, you know, we all just pretty much cracked up on that. But, um, like I said, you know, we've, we've been, me and Mark, we've been brainstorming about this and we figured, you know, whenever we don't have a fourth, which, you know, looks like to be almost all the time, you know, whenever we don't have a fourth or anything like that, you know, we're just going to, me and... Uh, Mark and Sean, we're just gonna get together, and we're gonna just, I guess, you say, you know, shoot a video, shoot a, an episode, and you know, we're calling it um, a bite in time. You know, 
kind of like what's been happening, you know, like how we give you the demonstrations and the gameplay and everything like that, you know, <coughs> we thought it'd be cool to kind of give you guys a backstory on, you know, who we are in the, you know, in the ZIA and everything like that. So, you know, we hope you guys will enjoy that as soon as we get, you know, an episode up there because what we're doing is, you know, we're going to treat it like a, an actual TV series, you know, we're going to shoot episode after episode after episode. And, you know, we're not really going to post anything until we feel that, you know, we've got, like, a whole, I guess you could say, season's worth. And then, you know, we'll start, you know, editing them, editing them, cleaning them up, you know, cutting here and, you know, putting them up and, you know, seeing what we can do with them. And, you know, like I said, it's, it's being called a bite in time. And the plot, you know, I guess you say ripped it off from 28 weeks later, I don't know. But, um, when I was writing out the plot for this, I got a feel of, you know, 28 weeks later with the hint of, a uh, with a hint of, um, I guess you could say, Resident Evil um, Apocalypse. Because of the plot, I put um, that, you know, it's us four, slash three, however the fuck you want to look at it. Sometimes we do the episodes. Um, we're trying to escape the current affected city, as we have no knowledge if it's, you know, worldwide or not. And, you know, all communications have been cut off in the city. Basically, the city is like, you know, it's a complete ghost. I mean, everything's been cut off, you know. Nothing goes in, nothing goes out at all. No radio frequencies, you know, nothing except for what's, you know, inside the city. So, the plot there is that the three or four survivors have to, you know, kind of survive the onslaught of the undead zombies. And, um, we have to try and make it to the, um, the evac stations in the city. Seeing that, you know, the army or whoever we're going to decide, you know, whatever type of military force we decide to put in as the uh, as the the cleanup crew mediators, whatever you want to call them. You know, they figured that they messed up and they left, you know, a lot of men behind. So, you know, not to their knowledge, all their men are dead because, you know, like I said, nothing goes in, nothing goes out. So they have the kind of, you know, I guess approach you can say is that, you know, they drop their men in and they go, you know, we'll give them that amount of time. And then we'll tell them they have to be in this extraction point by this time, by this day. And we'll go pick them up, pull them out. So as I was saying, you know, they don't know their men are dead. So it's just us four trying to make it out in the city. And, you know, we um, try to make it to these, you know, extraction points. While we try to make it to some of these points, you know, like I've said, nothing goes and nothing goes out. So while their men are down there, their men have been equipped with, you know, you, you know, you can pretty much figure the finest stuff that you can be given in a, a biohazard situation like this. You know, one of them, of course, being a gas mask, which um, we're going to hopefully get some and, you know, kind of show them off. And, um, you know, while we're making it look like we're doing this and that, and in the plot is, you know, while we're trying to get these evacuation centers, some parts of the city have been gassed off and basically off limits, seeing that, if we go into them, you know, we're pretty much dead because that's, you know, pretty much a mixture of, you know, barium gas and everything like that. So we're trying to, you know, make it to these extraction points that haven't been gassed out already. While we're trying to avoid, you know, places being gassed out, you know, we and, you know, the plot, we're going to put it somewhere that we stumble upon a map to help us out, you know, determine these points of, you know, which place to get gas next. So we need to get out of there, you know, pretty much stuff like that. So, with um, the bite in time being updated, you know, that was one point of our update. The next, the second point of our update, it's not really an update. It's kind of like, you know, I guess you could say a shout out slash congratulations. Um, I've recently checked the um, the channel, and we have a guy, Taco22122, I think I can't really remember the, the number straight. But um, I'll post a link, and I'll post a link to his channel in this video. And, um, you know, he I guess he caught wind of the gameplay videos we've been doing for uh, Call of Duty Black Ops for the Zombies mode. And um, what he does is that, you know, he's a really good Call of Duty player. I mean, in his um, 200 subs, um, thank you, shout out video type thing, you know, um, he basically, every, every commentary video he does, you know, it's just him basically owning all over the map, you know. And, um... You know, he sent me this video to, you know, kind of whore out, I guess. So I'll be posting that, a link to that video as well. And I'll be posting a link to the 200 sub video as well. And, you know, a link to his channel. 
But, you know, like I said, this is a congratulations type shout-out thing. You know, he's, um, he seems to be, you know, pretty cool with what we do, which, we, you know, we greatly appreciate. And, you know, we're a huge supporter of his. You know, and, you know I've I told him clear that, you know, anything, you know, he needs to be passed out or something like that. You know, we'd gladly do it for him in an update video. And I told him that I'd try and get one up as soon as I can, you know, to basically say that, you know, he's not going unnoticed because clearly he hasn't and clearly... You know, he should not be going unnoticed. He's, you know, he's probably better than some of the people I've seen on the Machinima pages or, you know, some of the, the great gamers out there that you see that post Call of Duty videos. I mean, he does really well on, you know, every game that he plays, you know, every map that he does. I mean, of the, the one he sent me in general, he's pretty much cleaning up the place on, I think it's either Havana or Cracked. I'm not sure. That's one of those two. But he's pretty much owning everybody with a fucking Olympia. I mean, it was pretty crazy. So, you know, I'm going to post everything up there. I'm going to, you know, let you guys check that out. You know, once again, congratulations to Taka. You know, you're a really cool fucking game player, dude. Keep it up, you know. Just keep owning out there. And, you know, whatever you need, you know, the ZIA will gladly, you know, will gladly help you out with that. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this update video. I'm going to get it cutted and edited, you know, clean it up for you guys. And um, I'm going to get out there as soon as I can. Hopefully, I'll get it up tonight if not tonight then definitely friday night so you guys will have something to see at least on saturday and like i said you know we hope that this video you know kind of keeps you guys encouraged on looking forward to you know zia stuff because like i said we're not we're not dead you know we have our own page on facebook for the zia group and you know we're constantly keeping a talking rotation there you know like i said the reason why we haven't been doing videos is because we've been having a problem with our fourth man so we don't know what's going on so you know I'll go ahead and I'll cut this video right here so you know hopefully we'll have some new content out there for you guys probably in the next two or three weeks we're not sure yet whenever we whenever all four of us can get together you know we'll have a new demonstration for you guys and you know hopefully a lot more other stuff along with some gameplay videos that I'm you know too much actually to say the least that we have a lot of gameplay videos and I'm gonna try and clean those up and you know get those out to you guys so I'm going to go ahead and cut off right here. Thanks for watching.